Hello there. Aquí el lío. Mr. Daily Joke. In the last video, I showed you what about that it was both photos of Robert England. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. I will put the link over here. But anyway, about it, and I, I was so excited. I'm still excited to have it because it's so cool. Anyway, I told you that I ordered something real special and I was so excited to have. So I received it today and I cannot wait to show you. Now, I was thinking, how can I show it? Hmm, I wonder how I'm going to do it. Yes, indeed, I got the glove. And I'm loving it, I'm digging it, it's so cool. I love the noise. So let me show you the unboxing of this glove and my little review. So this is what I got. I have the Freddy Glove Prop Replica. Is made by Neko. So, this is a beautiful glove. I will take it out of the package, but I wanted to show you first how it came. This is a nice package. It have Freddy over here. It says Elmo, Elmo Street. A nightmare on Elm Street, and over here it says again Freddy Glove Prop Replica. This is a great packaging. The only complaint I have is I ordered this by Amazon and they ship it out by mail and the box got a little bit damaged. You can see a little bit of bend here. That's the only complaint that I have. Other than that, the box is cool. Over there you can see the price over here. I will try to take it real careful because I want to display also the box. I bought this too because I collect movie stuff. I love movie stuff and I collect them so I want to display the glove by itself but also the box is so cool I want to display the box too now I will show you the glove in action <laughs> so let's take the glove out I will put this over here and take off this and here is the glove let's take it I never take it out before so let's take it out oh something is holding it let's see oh yeah wires look at that real secure so here it is here's the glove and I'm telling you I'm digging it so cool here is a dummy hand and it says a nightmare on Elm Street. So this is cool. I like it. I saw a couple of uh, video reviews about this glove. And people are complaining about this thing. But I was watching the movie. And actually I'm watching the movie right now over there. But I've been watching the movie. And in the movie, in some scenes, Freddy had this ripped. So I don't mind. that. To me that's cool because it, it shows that... They're putting attention of the movie. This is nothing cheap. It didn't broke or nothing like that. It, the prop was broken already. So this is just to hold it. But I'm, I'm, that's cool to me. I love it. Also, this part in the movie it shows where Freddy broke a blade. It didn't show when he broke it, but he broke it nonetheless. And over here, here's the blade broken, and solder or well one more time so this is cool this is I, I'm, I'm digging it so much it's so cool and I'm a welder so this is metal by the way this is metal it's cheap metal I don't I won't I won't like but is it's not as thin I was thinking it was going to be so that that is cool and over here I can see I can check the wells that they did so this is original welds and I'm digging it so much look at that this is from the flux and that's cool 
I, I'm, I'm digging this globe a lot. So let, let me take it off. I want to put it on. I want to, I want to feel it. <laughs> I'm digging it. I'm digging it so much. But let me tell you something. It's a little stiff. I won't lie. It's a little stiff, hard to move. But I didn't bought it for wearing it. I bought it for display because this is a replica. And this is so cool. And how I see it in the movies is extremely to the point. I love it. I, I love it. It's stiff. Like this finger is stiff. And this one is cool, but I cannot. I heard a lot of complaints about this one too. This one over here. Because nobody can reach it. But like I said, I'm not going to wear it. I'm going to display it. Of course, I'm going to play a little bit right now with it. But this is for displays. So this is cool. I like it. I'm loving it actually. I'm loving it. Ah, I love this. I love the noise. I love the sound. Also in the movie they have these little holes. And that is so cool. Let's see if you can see it over here. These little holes over there. That is so cool. It feels sturdy. I don't think I'm going to break it. Of course if you play a lot maybe this it will go. You know it will break. But it's so cool, realistic, and by the price that you paint, this is a great prop or replica of a prop. Actually, I saw a couple of ones made by other uh, companies, and it looks kind of cheap. This looks extremely cool, close to the movie. Some people. Do this glove by hand professionally. They put a lot of care and detail to the glove. But it can go from 150 bucks all the way to 300 400 dollars. So I'm not paying that much for a glove. Especially if it's not signed by Robert England. But I pay around 60 65 dollars for this glove. This is a great glove, great prop, it looks great. It looks wear and tear, everything is metal, well the thing is need to be metal, it's metal. This is leather, and I want to say it's leather, maybe it's fake leather, but it's, I think it's leather. It have, it looks like old glove, and it don't feel like old, it probably is new, just they make it look old. And you can see a little wear and tear and that is perfect because it's supposed to be the glove of Freddy Krueger that he built so I'm happy and excited so there it is I'm loving this glove this is so cool I'm going to put it in display somewhere over here probably on the side of the TV like this something like that I'm loving it I love that noise <laughs> Now if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, I truly appreciate the thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, why not? It's free! Now I will end a little bit different in this video. Like Freddy Krueger used to say, Sleep kills! <laughs>